Today we've been working with John Lewis. It's the first time they've done a day like this together. Lots of new people have come on board. They've had the opportunity to find out a little bit about themselves and what makes them tick. But they've also had a great opportunity to find out a little bit more about each other as well. So with the marketing team, a much more extroverted preference, a lot more sunshine yellow, fiery red type behavioural preferences, and in the operations team, a little bit more cool blue uh, screen. Uh, and as a result, sometimes I think what that made them realise was that when they come together, there's the need just to kind of play to each other's strengths as opposed to be fearful of each other or maybe disrespectful of that opposite type. Yeah, working in, in any business, the, the, the key word now is change. I think understanding our, our colours uh, really, really helps to understand what, what it is we might be struggling with, how we can cope with it better, and how we can kind of progress as individuals and as a team. You should always take something away from a session like this and try and adapt it into the way you operate, the way you manage, the way you lead. I think it will give us some commonality and actually is it easier to understand and I think that we can take it back to the team and work with it. Um, is there any one individual? I can think of a few probably where I can actually I understand them a little bit better um, and hopefully with this information they can understand me a bit better as well. The one DR direct report I had in the team, in the room today, if you had asked me to guess where she sat on the wheel, I would have guessed completely incorrectly. And um, we are literally mirrors of each other. And um, I would never have guessed that. So that, that in itself is, is very, very interesting. Um, and we were joking about the fact that actually that might mean we need to hire people who are a little bit different from us. Maybe we have a tendency to hire in our own image. It's really given me a bit of insight now as to maybe what I should be saying in my appraisal and kind of learning how to deal with different people, how people should be dealing with me. It's made me feel like maybe I should be preparing for meetings a bit better for certain people. That's the key take home. I think um, understanding yourself is, is good for the soul, but it's, I think it's essential for progress and development.